Hi folks, how is everybody? I hope everybody is well. So first of all, I'm going to look at the situation between you and your person um, and you can see if it is resonating with your situation. And then if it is, we will look at uh, your person's current thoughts about you, feelings for you and their next likely action towards you. So uh, first of all, we are going to look at this person's... Oh no, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on between you both? Five of Swords. Knight of Wands, Six of Swords, the Tower, and Ace of Cups. This looks on again, off again, on again, off again, uh, straight away, because I'm getting this sort of conflict with the Five of Swords, and then uh, two cards over, we're getting the Six of Swords, so uh, we're getting that uh, moving on from the conflict um, with some sort of action, so like a fallout, something happens here, uh, and then there's like a an approach, and then there is a overcoming, whatever this was, and then we're heading towards another breakup or disconnect or fallout or something here with that tower, um, and then it gets resolved again with that Ace of Cups. So let's see. Queen of Cups. Hanged man. Okay, so this is someone that you have a very deep feeling for, but uh, it seems like the relationship did not progress past a certain point. It just sort of uh, remained stuck or hung here. Um, this person could have been very in and out, like I said, uh, with that two of pentacles. And uh, even on this card, you can see uh, in the water, there's like, you know, the the red and the blue coming together here. So um, there's this like hot and cold energy for sure. Explosive and then sort of like Gentle, Hierophant, and the Four of Wands. Okay, the Hierophant and the Four of Wands together can uh, represent like a marriage or a committed relationship or something here. Uh, so I don't know if there's any like third party thing could potentially be. The Five of Swords could be a betrayal and the Two of Pentacles can talk about, you know, perhaps juggling two situations. Um, so there could be, you're right, for some of you there will be, some of you there isn't here. Um, it could be that you're hoping for, you know, something to move towards a committed direction with this person. Um, but every time you get so far, something sort of like collapses here. And then that new beginning comes in again. And then there's still this sort of like hung, is this going to change energy about commitment? What direction are we going in? Okay, so uh, let me see. Yarn. Hassles, problems, big mess, interconnected, complicated, uh, work it out, <laughs> many working components, mischief and out of control. So uh, it could be that things are feeling a little bit tangled, uh, maybe, you know, desire and emotion and uh, all of that is getting all tangled. If there's other people involved, you know, this could be getting all tangled and messed up here. Um, You know, this it could unravel very quickly. Um, you know, these tower moments could happen very quickly, very suddenly. Magnet. So we've got this unraveling, and then we've got this, uh, you know, being pulled back together again. It's crazy. It's like whoop. It just what it's like, isn't it? So you're just being pulled together. Um, there's a strong desire between you both. Strong attraction. Right. Let me see. Let's look at this person's thoughts about you. Ooh. That's twice today that random things have just like fallen around me when they really shouldn't be falling. And I don't know, it's just a bit weird. But anyway, I always get really nervous when I'm on my own in the house. I always hear things. I'm always texting my husband going, I hear sounds. I'm such a big baby. Okay, this person's thoughts about you. This person's thoughts. Let's see. Four of Wands. Page of Wands. The Chariot. Six of Cups. And the Hermit. So, this person's thinking they're being pulled in two different directions here because that chariot's landing in the middle um one direction seems to be towards something more committed something more stable with that uh, four of wands over there um and then the other option is to you know sort of i guess run away um with that hermit and sort of 
pull back that energy and uh, do a disappearing act, uh, cause a tower moment perhaps on purpose. Uh, the only thing is this person here, there's all that attraction, yes, the attraction is coming through, uh, but there's also like more than that. This person has an emotional uh, attachment to you, so uh, I don't think this person wants commitment perhaps you know um i would say if they're kind of engaging in these behaviors there could be an issue around commitment here um but at the same time this person does not want to lose you so yeah look seven of cups just clarifying that four of wands and the hierophant mm. three of swords okay nine of wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so it's basically just saying what I had been saying. This person does not want to lose you, right? The Nine of Wands is clarifying that. Uh, there is this sort of, yes, there's been hurt and you know, I'm hurting you and you're hurting me. And well, they're saying they're hurt. The Three of uh, Swords is here. Um, unless I suppose this is. No, but with the Chariot, I think this goes both ways as well. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm talking to myself now. <laughs> Uh, yes, this person here does not want to lose you, um, but there's an issue around commitment. Um, and again, some of you, you know, there could be uh, already prior commitments that's influencing this connection um, and causing all of this confusion um, and kind of making the situation seem like it can't go in a certain direction. And therefore, this is the only option, this Hermit and Ten of Swords. Um, yeah, but for some of you here, this is just someone who um, is really not wanting commitment, knows that you are wanting some sort of commitment, also knows that they're uh, hurting you but it uh, doesn't want to give you up or lose you um, and then kind of like is creating these cycles of, of you guys ending and then reconnecting. So this person's thoughts about you, they know that they are hurting you, um, they want you to sort of uh, understand that they're hurting too but you know I think we're being a bit selfish, but that's my opinion. Okay, so let's see. Feelings. We'll look at feelings. This deck is so big, so I have to shuffle it sideways. I have not stopped using this deck since uh, it was gifted to me. <laughs> I love it so much. It's the only deck I lift now. It's the Crow Tarot, I think. Yeah, Crow Tarot feelings for you. Two of Wands, Justice, Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Hierophant. This person keeps repeating, that Hierophant keeps coming out. So this is someone who is uh, perhaps not wanting a traditional relationship, not wanting, maybe, you know, never did. Some people just, you know, some people like, they don't want to get married, they don't want to settle down, they don't want to, there's people like that. Remember uh, Matthew McConaughey refused to get married to his woman for a very long time, didn't he? Uh, some people just don't want to do that traditional thing. It could be someone like that. Or there's another relationship involved here um, that this person feels that they need to um, sort of like block this off because it feels like this person is trying to make a choice and a decision and is trying to make the right choice in the decision. You do make this person very happy. The Ten of Cups is, is here. You know, this person views their happiness as lying with you. But there's something here about choice and making the correct choice. Um, I don't know if there is um, some sort of societal or community or um, family uh, interference in any sort of way between you and this person but it looks like this person is um, trying to make some sort of choice regarding their happiness and they do view you as their happiness but what is going on here why is this person seven of swords page of wands Five of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Nine of Wands. <sighs> For some reason, this person feels like they're locking themselves out of what it is that they're wanting. The Seven of Swords could represent some sort of deception. So, you know, 
I've got a family card. I've got the Hierophant with uh, Justice uh, and the Seven of Swords here as well. So again, there could be some sort of third party situation going on here um, and someone's trying to make a choice, you know, um, in that sort of sense. But if not, then you're dealing with someone here who uh, perhaps does not want a traditional relationship. Like I said, just does not want that, is not open to that. And even though they have feelings for you, you know, they're kind of... Uh, certain on that but at the same time they don't want to lose you so this is where the conundrum is like what's this person going to do okay seems very selfish to me i'll say it again but anyway okay what are you gonna do i think this person feels kind of stuck you know between a rock and a hard place because they don't want to lose you but they don't want to give you what you want either seven of pentacles king of pentacles the Magician, Two of Cups, Three of Wands. Okay, so this is this person in this paused energy with the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, for some of you, this person has um, something significant already. So whatever that's meant to mean, it could be a person, family, it could be a business, um, a job, it's, you know, something that they already sort of have um, some sort of status or power in. Um, and they're kind of paused because they're considering what their next move is and what it is that they want to do and all of that. Um, it does look like this person is sort of hoping that uh, perhaps some sort of like emotional connection will kind of tie you in some sort of way. <sighs> Let me see. Four of Wands. For some of you, this person's looking at um, a relationship that they are already in, okay, and whether they want to stay there. And then for others of you, this person is looking at a lifestyle, uh, a way that they are already living, uh, like, for example, a bachelor lifestyle, um, and trying to decide whether they want to go towards something uh, more committed. I mean, come on, this person's struggling because they have... I, It's like you're changing this person's mind. This is someone who did not want to be committed or did not want to make any promises or did not want to um, sort of fall in love, have these feelings or, you know, there was something very specific that this person had in mind and it didn't just quite turn out that way for this person. Um, now this person does not want to lose you. That's where this person's sort of like issue is all coming into this because if they did care about losing you this would not be a problem at all um but now they have a problem because they know that you are wanting a particular result from them um and they don't want to give it to you but they don't want to lose you so it's just kind of repeating itself here there's the same card seven of pentacles coming out the nine of cups the four of cups and same card coming out again. So um, I think that this person here is trying to manifest their best outcome. Um, I don't know if their best outcome is your best outcome though, um, to be honest with you, because I think this person is uh, perhaps going to use emotions and stuff to uh, sort of, like I said, there's like a connection here between you and this person. So they're gonna use like their emotion, the emotional connection to sort of, um, keep you in in their life in some sort of way uh, but the cards are are showing that this might not be enough i don't think that this is particularly what you um view as enough uh, because you're still showing as waiting for something a little bit more so empress is at the bottom of the deck with the magician yeah so this person here is trying to figure out how to have things their way basically the way they want them to be um because they don't want to lose you either. So, oh my God, this person's like, oh my. No wonder they're just sitting there. Look, not making any sort of move. It's kind of giving me that <laughs> feeling whenever you're doing like a crossword and you don't have like a pencil and you're using a pen and then you're like sure on the answer and you're like, but then like halfway through writing it, you start doubting yourself and you're like, what if this is wrong? I'm going to have to like do a big, I'm going to have to scribble this out and it's going to be a mess. And um, it's just... Yeah, that's what it's like. That's what I'm saying anyway. So um, yes, I hope that that has helped. Thank you all very, very much. I would expect um, some sort of like emotional approach or attempt uh, from this person um, to try and, uh, you know, have that lovely energy that you guys once shared. But um, 
they are showing up as a very selfish sort of person at the same time so uh, yes i hope that has helped thank you very very much and i hope you all have a lovely day thank you bye bye